Hello everybody, it's your boy, Papa Top 912 and TT 911 We're coming at you today with another one of our famous recipes, and the recipe of today is Rigatoni Pasta and Meatballs! That's right, we're going to be making Rigatoni Pasta with some fresh homemade meatballs. So, before I get started, I'm going to go over the ingredients that we're going to be using today, and then I'll kind of go over the process, and then we'll get things going. So, homemade meatballs first thing you got to have is some good meat so i'm working with some 80 20 ground chuck and that's two pounds and then i have one pound of pork sausage jimmy dean italian flavored i have some sour cream then i have some saltine crackers rigatoni then i got some diced tom tomatoes the petite dice and the regular dice to give a different texture profile in your mouth. Then my seasonings of the day, we got tarragon, rosemary, garlic, parsley, thyme, basil, oregano, minced garlic, crushed red pepper. And then we have in the uh, fresh grinder, some pink Himalayan sea salt and some tri-colored peppercorns. We have six medium-sized farm-fresh eggs, some Romano cheese. If you don't have Romano, just get any cheese in the family, you know, the kind of the white cheese family, Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano, any of those, all that'll work just fine. And then in this dish here, I have one handful of cilantro, two purple onions, about five or six petite peppers, the red, yellow, and the orange, sweet peppers. Then I have one shallot, and also in there I have one jumbo garlic in there. So those are the base ingredients that we're gonna use to season up this recipe. So I'm kinda go over what we're gonna do today. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start the sauce. We're gonna take the tomato sauce. We're gonna start with that. So first thing we'll do, we're gonna julienne those peppers and onions and saute those down in a little bit of olive oil and garlic till they get limp. Then we'll add the tomatoes into that dish and then we'll season it to taste with all of those seasons right there. And then a little hand, you know, a pinch of sugar because the sugar knocks the bite off the tomatoes. And then once we get that going, we're going to put it over a low heat and kind of let it start to simmering down, stewing, letting those flavors mesh together. And we'll start on the meatballs while that's going. The meatballs, of course, we're going to have the pork and the beef. We're going to use a little bit of sour cream. We're actually going to use a little bit of the sauce that we're going to make as well. We're going to crush up all of those saltine crackers right there. And then we're going to use that shallot and that garlic that was inside of the dish. And also that cilantro right there. And then we're going to then augment that with the dry seasonings again. We're gonna roll those out. I'm sorry, we're gonna use the eggs and cheese too. But once we get that blended together, we're gonna to roll those out and we're gonna cook some of them and we're gonna freeze the rest of them for later. Meatballs, one dish that it freezes well. You can freeze them raw and then anytime you wanna make meatballs, you just take them out the freezer and you cook them just like that. You can cook them frozen or you can put them in the refrigerator the night before and let them thaw. Either way you wanna do it depends on how much time you got. So. Once that's done, we'll, like I said, we'll cook off the meatballs. And then we're going to put those inside of the sauce as well. And we're going to let those cook, just simmer in that sauce for about 30 minutes. Let the meatballs flavor the sauce. Let the sauce seep into the meatball. So just get that homogeneous taste going. And then we'll finish it off with the rigatoni pasta. There's a little something, something that we do with that too. But I'm just going to show you that while we're cooking it. So I'm going to now turn this camera here off for a minute. Get my prep work done, and next time you see us, we'll be at the stove starting on the sauce.
All right, guys, welcome back. So now we're about to start off our sauce. So I'm just going to put a little bit of EVOO in the pan right there. And I'm going to dump all of those vegetables in there. I didn't quite get the julienne on my onion because I started on the wrong angle and I messed up my grain, but guess what? It still works. Let me get in here. Get in here. Go put a little handful of that garlic, just a little bit of that garlic from the meatballs as well in there too. Alright, so that's about where I want them to be right there. Like I said, I didn't want them to cook or get sauteed too much. I just want to get them a little limp, start releasing some of their natural flavors. And now I am going to then cut that one up good. Uh, he'll be all right. We're going to go ahead and pour in the tomatoes now. That just torn it way down. Give it the other can. Can I pour this one in? Uh, I'll pour. Yeah. You can sprinkle seed things. Okay. Oh, that is just diced tomatoes. Now I'm gonna have my little assistant here. Hi. Start sprinkling in all of the ingredients. Did you already sprinkle in the tarragon? I ain't sprinkled in nothing yet. Okay. Let's start with some tarragon. Yeah. Go ahead. So we're gonna sprinkle some tarragon. Just get some over the whole dish. Sprinkling in some time. Sprinkling in some time now. While she's sprinkling. Alright, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and crush up some of this rosemary garlic. You go ahead and sprinkle. Okay. Some basil. Go light. A little more. Alright, that's probably good. What else you got left? What you got left? We have some minced garlic. Don't use the pour. Pour the garlic. There you go. All right, that's good. Some oregano. Some parsley. Is that good? A little more. Alright. What else you got? Our crushed red pepper. Go easy. Go easy. They're too spicy. Yeah, that's probably enough to start with. And then you need the fresh salt and pepper. Wait, we sprinkled in the oregano? Yeah, yeah do that, man. Crack oh. salt and pepper. I forgot it. I forgot a piece over there. Uh, some fresh cracked black pepper. Go ahead and do the salt. The salt's going to go fast now. And some salt. There we go, that's good. Alright, 
right, so y'all can see that it's starting, starting to bubble up there. That's what we've been wanting. So I'm going to mix that in. Now, if you don't want to eat this with meatballs, you can also eat it with like some Italian sausage. That works out good too. Or some smoked sausage. Any sausage, really. If you don't want to do it with meatballs. It's just a hearty dish. And whatever you eat it with, it's going to be fine. So. Now we're going to take a little taste to see what she need. Why do I feel like you took that as a movie reference or something? She did good. She good, a little fresh. I'm put a little more salt. I'm not going to over salt it. Because I can always add more salt later. When you said that, that, the what she need thing, mm -hmm. why I feel you took that as a movie reference? I don't know. And then I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in here. Comment down below in what movie reference you think I'm talking about. To knock the bitterness off of those tomatoes. Now, all of those were really sprinkles to taste. I mean... I don't really have a good measurement for this recipe. You just blend those ingredients to your liking until it matches how you like your food to taste. So we're gonna try that again now. Oh yeah. Yeah, good. Still a little bland, but I'm gonna let it cook. And Go ahead and do let it just simmer down on itself to let some of the natural sweetness of those vegetables come out. And then once we put the meatballs in there and let all of that blend together, if it still needs a little bit, we'll add some. But again, you can always add, but you can't necessarily take away. So always go slow. So we're gonna do now, just put this on low. See it starting to bubble there in the middle. We're just gonna let it simmer. I'm gonna slide it to the back burner because I'm gonna need this front burner to cook my meatballs. So we're gonna go ahead and go back over to the meatball prepping station now, cause this is good to go. All it's gotta do is cook and simmer on itself. We're gonna move back over to the meatballs now, people. Alright guys, welcome back. We are now going to start making the uh, meatballs. So we did some prep. We got the, on this plate right here, we got the parsley and the garlic and the shallots all mixed up. And in this bowl here, we got four of those six eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put that, put all of that right there. In there. Whip that in with my eggs a little bit. And then right here is about a uh, third cup of that tomato sauce. It's still a little bit warm, so I'm not gonna put that in there just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole sleeve of crackers that I minced up using my meat mallet. And then I'm going to put in my sour cream. I'm gonna do about a third of a cup of sour cream too. So what I'm gonna do is just take this cup here and I'm gonna squeeze in 
a third of sour cream, now that's full because that's two thirds cup. So that's how I know how much I put in there. That'll cool it off and go ahead and dump that in and mix it. Like I said, that sauce wasn't really hot. It was just a little bit warm still, but that cold sour cream knocked that heat off of it. Then the cheese. This was a little over about half of that pack of cheese that we had. We grated it up on a microplane. And that mm. cheese is really strong. I mean, that's that. We got a taste of it. It was delicious, y'all. Nice little snacking on the shredded pieces, too. Now I can't because we're ready to eat. Right. So, see, we got that right there. That's looking pretty wet. So now what we want to do, my assistant is going to pass me the ingredients and I'm going to crack some of this rosemary garlic seasoning in here. Can I shake it in? Yes, yeah, hold on. No, I'll take over that. Once you do that, I'll just, you pass me that and I'll sprinkle in it. <laughs> Alright, and then she's going to, we're going to go ahead and use some garlic. Even though we had the other garlic in there too, we're still going to put some of this minced garlic in there. Shake a little bit of that minced garlic. That's good. And a little bit of oregano. That's good. Some thyme. That's good. Crushed red pepper flakes. I'm going easy too, so these won't get too spicy. That's good. Then we get a little heavier on these last three. The basil. Alright. Parsley. Alright. And then the star of the show. Tarragon. Tarragon. So it's pretty much about three times as much of those last three as all the rest. That's good right there. And yeah. over here, grab the top of me. Now, the only problem you have with meatballs is one, you got raw eggs, and two, you got raw meat. So you can't really taste this until you cook it. So what you do is you mix it together and then you just make your small meatball and you test it. You fry it up, you taste it, and then you adjust the flavors as needed. I think I'll take that to the sink. All right, so now you can see we got our meat right here. We're going to then take this slurry here and dump it into the meat. And the other trick with meatballs is that when you're doing meatballs, you do not want to overwork your meat. That makes them dense. You want a meatball that's kind of airish. So now, we're gonna. And this was my idea. Put on our uh, magic hands. And the gloves were my idea. Alright guys, so now you can see, I'm all gloved up. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this in. And I'm just going to try to fold it in and work the meat as little as possible while blending all of the ingredients together. I want to blend it, but I want to work it as less as possible. So I'm using the fold and press method to try to accomplish that. And you see I'm using my left hand to kind of turn my bowl like a mixer. And then my right hand, I'm just folding from the center and pressing to the center. Folding, pressing. Fold, press. Fold, press. All right, 
So now, what you want to do, you get your meat, and you hold it. And if it don't fall apart, you're good to go. So, we're going to start rolling these up. But like I said, before we roll them all up, we are going to make a test meatball and fry it off. But see, they're a little tacky, a little wettish. So I'm glad I didn't put those other eggs in there because it would have been really wet. So, and fall apart. So you see that right there? That's the size of the meatball that we like to eat. So we're just going to take this meatball right here. Got a tiny test. Take it to the stove and cook it up. Yeah. Oh, man. What? We forgot to put salt in there. Well, our gloves are kind of all. Take your gloves off. We got a little bit ahead of ourselves, people. We forgot to put the salt in here. And you definitely need some salt. I'll take my gloves off really quickly. Yep. Alright. Which one is this? This is know. the salt because the pepper wants to. Oh, You must want the salt because the pepper wants to. Five, keep going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. That's good. Alright. So I got a bowl of salt into these, and what I'm doing, I'm working them extra now because first time I did, I should have had that salt in there, but oh well. I think you grab some more because they're already folded yep. out. I pop these in the we'll be all right. They got it folded in. All right. So I'm gonna make one test meatball. Make a little small one. Put it in my frying pan, fry it up, and then we're going to let y'all know how it tastes. How it tastes. Alright y'all, so there's our little meatball, so my assistant here is going to taste it for us and tell us what it tastes like. Okay, we're cutting it. Cutting it in half. Yeah, see, just take that what's on your fork right there. Just be here. You better blow it because it's hot. What it tastes like. Is it flavorful? Mm -hmm. Y'all can see that right there, people. The juice is in that meatball, so it is not dry. And you can kind of see how it's falling. It still breaks apart pretty easily. It's not that dense. That means we got it right. So I'm going to taste it now. Can I eat the rest of this test meatball? Mm. Now I mean the rest of this test meatball by myself. Yeah. That's on. Perfect, 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 perfect. Mm. And it doesn't have a heavy salt flavor, so I can put a little more salt in that sauce. So I'm going to put a little more salt in the sauce. So go ahead and let that start simmering in. And we're going to cook up these meatballs. And we will be back when we start rolling. All right, All right guys. So I'm going to show y'all what size. And I'm going to show my little assistant here what size of meatball. And when you're rolling those meatballs, don't put a lot of pressure on them. Just keep them between your hands and roll them. And that's the size that we like to eat right there. Okay, my shoe. So, we're going to roll out these meatballs. Is this good? Yep. Mm. And mm. start cooking mm. them all. Mm. Hey, make them circle now. Okay. Slightly big. Your meatball is a circle. My meatball is a circle. Mm -mm. Boom. Rolling in a good circle now. Mm. Don't slap it down. That's why you keep losing your shape. All right. Mm. So my assistant is going to roll these meatballs out. And I am going to start cooking them off. All right, guys. I'm going to add a little more EVO oil to my pan here now. Mm -hmm. I just used all of my olive oil. Also add just a little bit of clarified butter. There. I'm going to just sit these meatballs in here. And I don't like to overcrowd my pan. I'd rather have a few extra cookings than to overcrowd my pan.
Push my pan around because this side is cooking a little harder than the other side. Now you can also just cook these in the oven too. You put them all on the pan like a, a, a tray that can catch the oil. Just sit them on the grate and, let, and put a pan under to, to catch the oil drippings. And you can cook a whole bunch of these meatballs in the oven real quick as well. Alright guys, welcome back. So we are at the end of this process now. You can see I got my meatballs, they were browned off, and as I, I didn't, I took them right out of the frying pan and stuck them right into the sauce as they were cooking. When they were done, I just set them over there so that little bit of grease, a little flavorful grease that was in them, went into this dish versus putting it on a napkin, letting it drain out. I mean, it really wasn't a lot of grease on them, but you know, that's just a little added flavor. Um, I also, I added some water to this. Once I put the meatballs in, I added some water in it to cover the meatballs over. And then I just, like I said, you can see this low simmer right here. It's been low simmering like that for about 30 minutes. I got my pasta. Went ahead and cooked the pasta al dente. And now we're going to finish off the pasta real quick. So it's cooked off and drained. And now we're just going to ladle some of this sauce right into the pasta. And I'm really just trying to get the sauce. I'm not trying to get like the tomatoes and the onions and peppers. Some of them, a couple of them are going over there, but that's not what I'm aiming for. So I got that. And then I'm gonna take some grated Parmesan cheese. couple lumps there and I'm gonna fold this in together all right I'm gonna let that ride now we're gonna go to plating all right folks so the plating is over and this is the final product what it looks like once it's done and plated up let's put the noodles those cheesy sauced up noodles on the bottom Ladle some of the sauce on top of it and then put the meatballs right on it. Sprinkle some more fresh chopped cilantro and a little bit of that grated Parmesan cheese. So that's the dish. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. This is Papa Top 912 and Game of Teach 911. We're signing, signing off. off. And somebody gonna tell you how it tastes. It tastes absolutely delicious. Because she already had hers. This is my plate and mama's plate. So anyway. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Wait. One announcement. What? Check out my new YouTube channel. <laughs> What's the channel? Gaming TT911. Alright. Bye.